you have been given an assignment that was created with the Google Drive assignment button, looks a little different. Uh, you will see the title, you will see an assignment and my documents, and then a description, which will have some directions from the teacher. To open your file or your document, click my document, and you will now see the file type uh, right here. So it could be a Google Doc, it could be a slide, a sheet, etc. This one happens to be a Google slide. And if you are not seeing uh, anything here, then you'll notice you can come up here and see can't see your document, click here. This will open up the connection between Google Drive and Schoology. So this is letting me know I'm not connected to Google Drive. Sign into your account. I'm going to click the blue button, connect. And in this case, this, there are two different students who are logged into this Chromebook. So make sure you choose your correct account. And you are going to allow Schoology access to your Google Drive. So um, a copy of this, your own copy, will be in your accessible in your own Google Drive. And this will be important because when you go to work on this, you'll notice this is a pretty small um, space. That's one problem. It's kind of hard. It's not a lot of screen real estate here. The other issue can be, especially in slides, if you go to use certain tools up here, you may not have full function. Like one is if you are trying to insert an image from the camera and you go to select camera, you may get an error that is causing a problem. So Schoology um, may be that the camera's um, just not accessible to this file when I'm in Schoology, but that is okay. You can still access it. I'm going to go back here. I need to hit refresh uh, because this is just kind of stuck in this loop. So go up to your reload this page. It will reload it. And then again, I have access to see everything here. But again, this is a pretty small space for me to work in. So what I can do is Next to submit assignment, I have edit. If I click on edit, this document, this file will open in its own tab. And now I have much more space. And if I, let's say I'm going to um, come here and I want to insert an image and I want to take a picture with my camera, I'm going to hold up. some notes. Let's say I, I wrote some problems there. I can come down here and I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to say insert and that image is now in my slide. You can do a number of other things. So let's say I went ahead and I finished this slide deck. I'm going to go back to my assignment and I am now going to click submit assignment. It's going to ask me, am I sure? I'm going to say yes, submit. If you're not ready, that's okay. You can say, never mind, I'm not quite ready. But if you are, go ahead and submit. I'm going to say done. And now this assignment has been submitted. Um, I can still make changes to this up until the point my teacher grades it. It's letting me know this assignment has not been graded. So if I want to make a change, I can still do that. I can go in, I can click um, unsubmit. Now I'm back in my document. I can hit edit. I can make the changes I want. Like, whoops, let's say I forgot to put my name. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to close this. It's letting me know that, yes, I am logged in as that student. I'm going to put name. Now I'm ready. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to hit submit. Once the teacher has graded this assignment or the due date has passed, I would no longer be able to submit. I would have, I would have um, 
comment access only. So if you needed to make another change, you would need to contact your teacher and ask them to unsubmit it so that you can make those additional changes. So that is how you will use the Google Drive assignment, um, how you will complete a Google Drive assignment using assignments, my document, and edit to open your file in a new tab.